Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. It's a follow-up to the last one, the storage compartment. I want to show you some variations of that storage compartment. So this one looks almost the same as that one, but uh, this one is most deviated from the original version and in my opinion the best looking one. So, let's have fun with on shape. So that's the original version of the storage compartment. Let's hide the surface and bring back those sketches. This one, this one, this one and that one, and this one. I will need, sorry, I will need that curve here over there as well so i want to go for a sketch and this should be on plane one so go for a sketch on plane one and bring in those curves this line that arc and that small line here and confirm i want to use 3d fit splines so go for spline from this point to that point. Just confirm. And another one from this point here to that point and confirm. Now I can do two different lofts. Let's start with the first one. So go for a loft. It should be a surface. Yes, it should be a new one. And I want to go from this side. Click here, click there, add that arc. Go back, select this line here. Select, click here and add this arc and that line to that one here click here then add this line here click here and now add that arc and this line here Okay, and the last one will be this one here. Click, click, and add that arc. And now I need guide curves. So go to guides and continuity. Go for the guide, and the guide would be this line here. not the edge of sketch. Let's deactivate this. Okay, I need that line here. Click here, click there. Select this arc, that line, this arc, and that one here. Nice. And maybe we could add that line here as well. Let's see if this will work or not. Obviously not. So we will have to stay with that model here and confirm. So for the second variation, I want to use a loft again, but I want to use composite curves. You don't need those composite curves, but they make it more convenient to use. So let's hide the surface, bring back that sketch here. Yeah. And now I want to create some composite curves. Let's start with this one here. Go 
confirm. Another one up here. Confirm. One here. Make sure you select them all. And another one over there. And confirm. And now I can use those composite curves. One, two, three, four. So go for loft. Select curve three as profile. Then curve four as profile. Then go for the guides. Select curve six as guide. And curve six, five and six as guides. And confirm. And this gives me a really nice looking surface. Okay, let's hide those curves. And hide all sketches as well. Okay. Then I will need two lines. I want to compare those three surfaces. So I go for a sketch on the front plane. Let's click here. I need a line from that point, maybe in this direction. Length could be, let's say, 500. Then another line, again from this point up there, and again maybe 500. Leave that sketch. And now I want to move that surface here, so go to Transform. I want to transform the surface by line of points with that line here. Confirm, and I don't want to have a copy. Okay, then bring back the first surface, bring back that sketch, and now move this along that line. So again, to transform, select this, go to line of point, select this line, confirm. Now hide that sketch 7 and bring back surface 2. Now we've got all three surfaces and could compare them, for example, by looking at the curvature visualization. Okay, and I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.